Uh, that leads us to our next question. Um, Felicia is an addiction counselor. She lost her son 10 years ago to addiction. Uh, Felicia, hi, what's your question tonight? We are losing the war on drugs. Um, what policies or ideas do you have um, that would change that? What's your platform on substance use and overdose? Um, we, need, we need help <laughs> um, desperately. Yeah, and, and my, you know, my, I have my own history of addiction. So I was an addict for 14 years between starting one after my dad died till I was 28 years old. And, um, and, uh, and so, and I, you know, I'm very active in, uh, in recovery. Uh, I go to probably nine meetings a week. And, uh, and I think spent a lot of my time thinking about it and seeing what works. And I take many, many people over my, you know, 40 years uh, working these programs, I've taken hundreds and hundreds of people into different forms of recovery. And I have a very good idea of what works and a vision for what we need to do in this country. And we need to make addiction treatment easy, simple, cheap. A lot of the industry is, has devolved because of, um, because of a variety of factors into almost a predatory industry, a lot of the addiction treatment industry. And I've seen how it works in other countries. I've seen this beautiful model that they have in Italy called San Patrignano, where there are, um, there are uh, uh, 2,000 kids um, who work on a, uh, on a large farm in a healing center and they grow. It's a beautiful model. It's good. And that's what we need to build here. And, you know, what I would do as presidents, I would, I would decriminalize marijuana. I will make safe banking laws for people who are selling it, but I will tax it federally. And I will use that money to build these healing centers in rural areas, depressed rural areas all over the country where kids can uh, grow organic food and, and eat good, eat well, heal themselves spiritually, physically, um, and, uh, and emotionally. And not only for fentanyl, but also for the many, many kids who are now uh, stuck on SSRIs and are suffering other forms of depression. We need to start healing our country. Our country, you know, has a form of kind of chronic inflammation, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. We need to start healing ourselves and we need to we need to be compassionate. But we need to be practical about it. And we need, need to make that a priority. We need to recover our children. We are all one of my best friends lost a daughter three days ago. I lost a niece to a fentanyl overdose during the pandemic. So, you know, I know what it's like. To, I lost two of my brothers. Um, I know what the suffering that American families are enduring, and it is a high priority to me. And it's something that, for me, this is going to be my Peace Corps program. And my uncle had the Peace Corps. I'm going to build these rehab centers all over the country, these farms. Healing, healing camps where people can go, where our American children can go and find themselves again and come back and become contributing members to our society and, and stop the mayhem and the, and the carnage.